I was taking a uh, technology entrepreneurship course through Stanford University, and we had to brainstorm. This came out of one of my brainstorming sessions that I had um, at my house while smoking hookah and staying up way too late at night. <laughs> um, the idea is for an application to live on the, I guess, backbone of Facebook. The name of it is Facebooky. You may be able to assume something from that. Um, the original idea that I presented a few months ago was to create an application where you would be able to log in, see all of your friends that are in relationships, and then wager with your with your other friends as to how long those people would actually stay in relationships. <laughs> That's a multi-million dollar idea. <laughs> if, if not for the novels, you know. Yeah. Um, we, we literally did that on our own. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. actually yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. They have whiteboard bookie. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, keep um, going. <laughs> so I, I, I've tried to, you know, since, since I originally pitched, try to think beyond the borders of that, what could be done, what are the legalities behind everything. Um, and just last week, I don't remember what day it was, Thursday maybe, Wednesday or Thursday, um, it became public news that Zynga is, Zynga the maker of Farmville and every other space bill that everyone hates but everyone plays for some reason, um, they're really pushing um, to legalize online gambling in uh, Nevada. And that kind of in whatever way, I guess, sparked my interest in this idea again, simply because if Zinc is going to do it, they have billions of dollars that I will never have, but they have a good chance of legalizing whatever they want because of their lobbying power, to an extent. Um, so I started looking into lots of things, and what I've come up with is Facebooky. I still want an application to live within the infrastructure of Facebook, um, but I want to crowdsource what people are actually betting on doesn't have to be relationships, it doesn't have to do, it, it doesn't have to have anything to do with Facebook, um, but simply have people come in and say, you know, like, I don't think that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl this year. Seems pretty, uh, you know, like a normal thought that someone would have, they're like 2 and 10. Um, but if there's a hardcore Chiefs fan out there that said, that's bull crap. The Chiefs are totally going to the playoffs, which they mathematically can't. But if someone <laughs> wanted to bet against me, if enough people were interested in that wager, then that bet would go live. At which point, money flows whichever way until the, uh, I guess, event happens, the event occurs, and then money changes hands one way or the other. How would I make money off of that outside of just being incredible and everyone wanting to throw their money at me. Um, I think that it would easily make money, not only uh, on the transaction, every website out there ever um, charges for well, any, uh, I guess like transaction company, PayPal into it, whatever, they charge per transaction. Charging transactions, um, the legal end of this is you would be wagering Facebook credits and not actual money. So then that also opens up the door to sell Facebook credits to users for their own consumption. It doesn't have to be you know, for use within Facebook. It just goes into the Facebook system. Um, I don't know where I was going beyond that. So uh, that's where I am with that idea. If anyone thinks that it's awesome, I would love to talk to you and see if we can make billions of dollars in the future. <laughs> uh, thank you for your attention. Thanks, Sean.